It's time to nut up or shut up. Zombieland Double Tap is directed by Ruben Fleischer and is starring Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone, Abigail Breslin, Zoe Deutsch, and Rosario Dawson. Before I go any further, I just want to say there will not be any plot spoilers in this review. This is the long-awaited sequel to Zombieland, and I say long-awaited sequel because the first film came out 10 years ago in 2009, and I kind of can't believe that. And this film is once again centered around the characters that we all know from the first film, Columbus, Tallahassee, Wichita, and Little Rock. And now they have to go up against new zombie foes because in the time that has elapsed from the first film, the zombies have now evolved to bigger, stronger, and faster, and they provide a new and unique threat to our characters. Zombieland is a film that I think I've watched at least 10 times, maybe even more. It is such an easy, fun, simple film that takes the zombie genre in a rather fun and less intellectual way. There's nothing really going on in the first film or even in the second film that I think requires any real heavy lifting. This is a horror comedy. The first film came out in 2009 when the zombie subgenre of horror was really starting to rise up and really starting to become really, really popular. Its popularity has since gone down since then, to the point now where I don't think very many people care too much when it comes to zombies, but this film I still think is really, really fun. It is a film that is just picking up right where the first film left off when it comes to where our characters are, when it comes to their mannerisms, when it comes to their typical characteristics, when it comes to the humor, it carries over directly from that film. The jokes, I think, pretty much all land. Some are duds, but most of them land. I think Woody Harrelson is having the time of his life in this film playing just the loudmouth, crazy Tallahassee. I think Columbus Jesse Eisenberg is still neurotic. Emma Stone, whose career has gone on to great heights since then, is also having some great fun. And Abigail Breslin, I think, is doing kind of the more interesting things when it comes to her character because her character is literally going from a really young girl to now growing up to a young adult, and she's kind of wanting to branch out and do her own thing, so you get a lot of conflict when it comes within this kind of weird pseudo-family that they have now. When it comes to familial problems, the film really hits on that in a rather genuine way. There is not a lot of kind of true genuineness in these films, but when it comes to just the character relationships and things like that, when how familial it is, that's a really strong positive. And I really found that to be really relevant in this film. You do get a couple of new characters in this film. Zoe Deutsch, who you have probably have seen in the trailers if you haven't. She is, I think, hilarious in this film. I don't know whether I'm just into kind of the simplicity of her humor or whatnot, or whether I'm just blinded by the fact that I'm just a big fan of her as an actress. I I thought she was hilarious and she stole every scene she was in. She plays this really dizzy, dumb, you know, blonde character. I know that's a really stereotypical, terrible thing, but that's the character that she plays. And she plays it with a lot of genuine hilarity and sincerity. And she's really going for it when it comes to the way she's reading the lines. And it's just fully believable. When it comes to the negatives I have with this film, like I said, it is a rather simple plotted film. It's a rather short film. It only clocks in at around 93, 95 minutes or so. So there's not a lot when it comes to kind of plot development and things like that. The first act is very quick. We get pretty much right into our main conflict and then the film kind of goes from there. Also, when it comes to the overall CGI in this film, some of it's good, some of it not so much. There's a lot of CGI blood and the CGI blood, if you're not a fan of, is really obvious. There are some CGI effects in this film that are really... Um, showing some certain budget constraints that this film had, and that's really obvious, so, you know, your mileage may vary when it comes to those things. I tend to notice them more because I'm looking for them. You may not. Also, when it comes to kind of the sophomore humor of the film, maybe you're not into that. Comedy is one of the most subjective things when it comes to, you know, what people like versus what people don't like. So, with all that being said, I'm going to give this film a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's a fun, entertaining time. If you like the first film, chances are you're going to like 
like this film. I enjoyed seeing all the characters back again, all the actors slip back into them pretty seamlessly. There's a lot of heart there when it comes to their character chemistry and familial aspects, but the film is kind of a light, breezy film that you don't really have to do a lot of thinking with, so don't expect anything with any real concrete depth. That has been my review of Zombieland Double Tap. If you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel.